The day I'm recording this is 8-8-2018. Now, this is the day that the new Smash Direct just came out. That was at 7 a.m. Now, I actually woke up very early to watch this so I could basically make a video about it and all that. I know this is up later in the day, but there's something I want to talk about for a while that I haven't even, like, you know, that I didn't really talk to a lot of people about. And that's the indie titles not being in Smash. Now, I don't know anything about what's going on with Smash or anything, so I'm not going to be like, oh, this is crap that we don't have them. I just kind of wanted to bring this to people's attention of what we, what the game is missing and what it could be. Now, first off, I want to say I know that Shelf Knight and a couple other indie characters have been in Smash, like, as assist trophies. But I'm talking about these indie characters being in Smash, like, characters. Now, what I don't understand is why they wouldn't have indie characters. Now, obviously, there's reasons for why they couldn't, such as, like, the games or the companies or just anything. But I was just wondering kind of why they didn't. Like, first off, they, like, let's start off with Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight has an amiibo, he has his own assist trophy now, and, you know, badges and all that, probably I assume, you know, we're talking about his game and stuff. So I was just wondering, why didn't they not make him a character and just an assist trophy? Because I feel like to have the rights to that character, you know, they have the rights to him, then you might as well just make him a player, not an assist trophy. But I'm not sure about that, because I thought Smash 4 was actually going to add him as a DLC, because he, ha he got his amiibo right as the DLC was coming out. So I was pretty surprised by that. And next, uh, I can't remember her name. It will be on screen in just a second. Uh, the, the little genie with purple hair. Um, she has some exclusive games to Nintendo. Um, I just, like I said, I don't remember her name. I apologize, so I'm just going to say purple hair genie. Uh, she just, you know, she's been on the Smash. I mean, not Smash. She's been in Nintendo. She has even a trophy in Smash 4 or, I think, Brawl. So, like, she's been in the games before. She just never was a main character. And I just wanted to bring this to everyone's attention that no character would be a indie character for Smash Bros. You could say maybe like, I don't know, the closest one I would honestly say you could say was, not even, I was going to say maybe the Mother series, but that's not even an indie title. Um, so like everyone in there is not an indie character, and anyone that you name off that is an indie character, you could just think, are they a popular company, a AAA company? 99% because, you know, Square Enix, so all the DLC characters are, you know, they're not, they're not indie titles, they're like published companies. Uh, I was just trying to think of any of them, and I just couldn't think of any, so I just thought, hey, indie titles would be awesome, like Shovel Knight, he has a full moveset he could use, the girl with purple hair could be easily done, so I was just wondering why they didn't do this, I wanted to hear what you guys thought about this idea, and talking about it, and I just, I just don't get why they don't have any indie titles, I don't know if that, it's a smash thing or a company the company thing but if square enix can make it in to smash i think anything can so i about that's about it guys please like subscribe and comment i know this video is kind of different uh but i really wanted to talk about what they're missing in smash that would be super awesome i'm gonna start doing some smash ultimate videos i know this one's a little weird and kind of sucked but you know you gotta bear with me and also in the link in the description below there is a merch store um tier one they are kind of a new apparel company. They hit me up and we started talking a couple of weeks ago and a month ago. And they decided that they would like to make a shirt for me. And the store is right up right now. Now, if you guys want to wait a couple days, they are finalizing the... So they have these cheap shirts that are like with my design on. I don't know how good they are. I'm about to order a whole bunch. And then they said they're going to have some more expensive ones that are super high quality. So I'm super excited for that. So they got shirts, t-shirts baseball tees they got everything hats and everything so just go check that out guys use the uh the code valley in the description you know in the when you're buying it, it's 10 percent off um it really helped me support the channel it will help everything and if you guys just want to run some awesome merch it'll be super cool so i think that's going to be it guys please like subscribe and comment let me know who you want to see from the indie titles let me know why you guys think that they don't and i'll be doing some more videos probably about the direct today and have a great day